I have a massive nail polish haul for you guys. That's a hair. Okay, Na a massive nail polish haul for you guys today. This is part two to the other massive nail polish haul I did um, earlier, I think last month. Um, it will be linked down below, and yeah. I'm sorry I've been gone for a very long time. It's because people and things have been stressing me the fuck out. The fitness grand pacer test. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video. So the first thing is something that I bought a very long time ago, but I haven't actually like showed you guys. Um, this is the put a coat on natural no base coat from OPI. This is like a color booster um, for neons. So this is basically a white base. Honestly, I don't really recommend doing this or buying this because you can just get a fucking white polish that you can use for everything. But whatever, it's okay, it's a really good um, polish, but it's not meant for a polish, this is a base coat, um, so, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on. So the next thing is No Chips Ahead from Essie. This is a really, really good no chipping top coat. Um, I did really hard manual labor with, um, with this polish, uh, no, with uh, a polish I'm going to show you later. I actually can show you it now. Miami Nice. I wore that with this on top of it and it lasted through like even scratching. Like if you scratch yourself a whole lot, if you have like an itch and normally it just makes automatic tip wear, but this actually doesn't and it's really, really good. Except for it's not fast drying, which I don't like. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the polish. Polish, right? Yeah, polish, polish, okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. So the first uh, collection I have to show you is the Hello Kitty collection. <laughs> so I didn't do a video about this because I didn't have all of them that I wanted and I didn't want to do it just like having three polishes. I didn't want to do that. I did that with the New Orleans collection and I have two more to show you in this video. So um, I have most of the collection here with me now and I really, really want to do a swatch video and everything of the collection and show you my opinions of the collection if you do want it. And I really want to do it, but if you want it, I'll, I'll do it, like, I'll honestly do it, like, full on. So, yeah, <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and show you all the polishes. And I'm not going to give you, like, my full honest review opinions because that would be for the video. But this one is Five Apples Tall, it is a primary red. Um, I actually, this is so dupable, even OPI duped it, like literally. Cajun Shrimp and um, Coca-Cola Red are the exact color of this. So, kind of pissed off about that, so I just gave away the other ones and kept this one. So, um, yeah, I mean, I still have them, unless somebody took them, but I have them still, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm just kind of deciding between them because I have so many fucking reds, I don't need that many. Um, the next one is a primary blue. It's really, really close to Pacific Blue. This is my pal Joey, and um, these all have a significance. Like, this one, Five Apples Tall, is how tall Hello Kitty, um, how tall a Hello Kitty is. Um, and then my pal Joey is just, uh, um, just one of her friends. Like, I think it's a mouse. I have no idea. But this is really good polish. Um, it's just like a basic primary blue. And then a basic black. This is never have too many friends. And I like, uh, black onyx a little bit better. It covers a little bit better than this one. This one's a little bit more sheer, not sheer, sheer, like three coats. This is like a two coater basic black. But you know, it's good. I like having black toes, so that's okay. I'm good with it. Um, the next one is a really glittery polish. This is Charmy and Sugar. This is so amazing, as you can tell, as you can see in the bottle. It's amazing. Um, I put this over a hollow, and it was amazing. I loved it. It was just so orgasmic. Yes, I just said that. I hate myself. I love it. Now this one I've used, oh, why did I sh try to shake it? I've used a fuck ton, as you can tell, it's all the way down to here. This is Kitty White. Buy it with your money dollars, it's amazing. It, it won't get opaque, let me go ahead and tell you. It won't get opaque, but it's so shimmery and it's so delicious. It just makes me wanna, oh, I just licked it. I'm, I bet it had dust on it. 
Okay. I'm weird. Okay, so this next one is a cotton candy pastel pink. This is Let's Be Friends. And I was not wanting to get this because I heard it was really, really sheer. I can get this opaque in two coats. Like, me. I can get this opaque in two coats. But um, I would recommend a third if you're a stickler for really, really thin coats. It would be a three cutter. But for me, it's two. And this is one I got uh, just the other day. This is my twin, Mimi. This is a two coater, pa not pastel, what? Basic primary yellow. I like it. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And I would highly recommend it. It just, it looks kind of like I need sunglasses and um, I just can't cope with Gabbana, but it's not a dupe to I just can't cope with Gabbana because that's the one I have. And no, it's not a bait, it's not a dupe. This is actually more deeper than that one. And then I have toe separators uh, from like a whole thing that I got. These two polishes and then this. What the fuck? Anyways, I got these two and this in a like set. Shit, okay, so yeah. So I got these and I use these all the time, so. They're my favorite. They're really, really stiff and I like that. Oh, stiff. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. fuck. Anyways, um, I'm weird. Now, the next one is the Katy Perry collection that I really, really want to do a review of because a lot of the reviews I've seen, they're from, they're from 2012, like whenever it came out, and it's not that good quality, some of them. Some of them, not saying all of them, don't, don't attack me, no. But I want to do like a high quality swatching video and show you everything about this. This one I really, really am adamant about doing, but if you want to see that one, comment below everything. So. I have all five of them. I thought there were six, but there was only five. Um, so the first one is the most coveted polish. This will be in all top 10 OPI polishes videos. This will be the one in it. Like, probably top one. Like, um, what's her name? Um, Lindsay Does Nails. She's so adamant about this polish. She loves it. And I, she made me buy it, kind of. Uh, like, ever since I started out, into polishing, uh, end up polishing my nails. She was like the first person I ever watched. Her in Just Face 90, and <sighs> they got me into this. The, the, this is amazing. Um, there is a dupe of it. It's called Pink Flare from Milani, and it's the exact same. Don't. It's the exact same. Like literally. Um, so if you don't want to uh, spend your money on this, even though on uh, Target's website it's nine dollars, and you can buy it there, but I got the full collection for like $50, so I'm just like, I wanted the full collection anyways, so let's go ahead and get that. But this is a beautiful pink gl holographic glitter. I love it. It's it's worth it. Like, I love it so much. The next one is Black Shatter, and this is so amazing. I love it. It's Black Shatter. It's basic, but it is pretty old trend, but it still looks good, so I don't care. This one is Last Friday Night. This is a blue jelly glitter polish. This is great for layering. Um, there is a polish from Essie called Lox Lots of Lux from the in uh, Encrusted Treasures collection, the one with Bulgaria. Um, that and this looks so good together. So good. Try it. And then this one is not like the movies, one of my favorite songs from Katy Perry, even though I don't listen to her bitch ass. Um, this is just, it's really, really close to Peace, Love, and OPI. Really, really close, but I'm keeping both of them because I'm a hoarder. Um, this is just a duochrome to, uh, it's, uh, purpley pink to green duochrome with little hidden peekaboo shimmers in it. I like it. I really do. And then this one I actually wore a lot. I, I wore all of them. Why am I saying I actually wore this one? Ha! <laughs> um, this is the one that got away. And this is kind of sheer-ish, but you can build it up in, on two to three coats. I like it, though. It's really, really beautiful, as you can tell. Um, sorry, I'm itching myself. Oh, God. Am I bleeding? I just made myself bleed. Anyways, really beautiful polish. So I'm probably going to do that one next. I actually really, really, really want to do that uh, Katy Perry collection. But anyways, let's move on. So I have two liquid sands. Uh, this one's from the Bond Girls collection, and this one's from the Mariah Carey collection, I think. 
Yes, Silent Stars Go By. Okay, so let's start with this one because I already said the fucking name. This is Silent Stars Go By, and this is a beautiful, beautiful, um, liquid sand polish. I actually really like this one. It's like a nude polish. I like it. And then this one is Jinx. This is one that I got because of Just Face 90, and this is in her top 10 OPIs, I think. Yeah, right? Okay. And it was in a lot of other top 10 OPIs. So, I got it. Have I worn it yet? Nope. <laughs> but it's because I don't really like textures a whole, whole lot unless I need to, like, get the fuck out the door. Um, so I'll probably wear this one next. Now these two are from the Starlight Collection, which I didn't do a review of because I didn't get that many. I got like, I think I have four of them. But um, this one is I'm in the moon for love. And wait. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm in the moon for love. And this is just a shimmery purple. Is it a gold shimmer? No, it's just a purple shimmer. And it's really, really beautiful. Um, I like it nothing really else to say about it. I like purple. 420 blazes. Okay. And then this one set, this one is by the light of the moon. And let me go ahead and tell you this. Okay, anyways, let me go ahead and tell you something about this. So everybody hates this that gets it. Like everybody that reviewed this polish hated it. And you know why I got this? <laughs> and also I got uh, pineapples have peelings too. Um, and I know y'all are gonna hate me for that, but I love that polish. I don't know why. But anyways, um, back to this. This looks like the moon on your nails. Like, with that really weird metallic with, uh, silver metallic glitter. Like, it looks, like, weird on people's nails, but it looks like the moon. It's the moon on your nails. And that, and nobody gets that, I think. And I like that. I like that effect. And uh, that's why I got it. And I'm still going to be adamant about it. And I'm still going to love it. So, suck my ass. These next two are from the New Orleans collection. And I already did a review of the New Orleans collection. Um, I only had five of them in that uh, review. But these two are ones that I wish I got, like, I wish I had, like, in the beginning. These are both three coaters, though. Like, I could not get these opaque in two coats. I think if I had longer nails, I would get them opaque in um, two coats. It's because I didn't want it, like, droop glooping all over my nails. I didn't want that. So that's why I was just like, three thin is okay. Um, this one is got myself into a jambalaya. And this looks so much like, um, China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy. It looks so much alike. But this one has a better formula, though. But I really, really like this one. Um, I mean, I bet you can get this opaque in two coats. It's just I don't fucking feel like that. So I like it. I really, really enjoy it. And I would highly recommend that. Um, and then this one is Crawfishing for a Compliment. Or Crawfishing for a Compliment. And this is a pastel orange. And even more pastel than the pastel orange that came in the Hawaii collection. Or the Brazil. The Brazil collection. Yeah. So, I like that one. Now these three are from the um, Alice Through the Looking Glass collection. These are the only ones that were unique to me. And um, I'm not going to get any more from that collection. Because honestly, I think it was a flop. Because the uh, Alice in the... Alice... Alice in the one... Wait. Alice in the Wonderland. Is that it? I don't... I, that sounds wrong. Okay, the, uh, the first Alice collection was so unique. It was so amazing. And everybody liked it. And then they give us a fucking whole thing of creams. And like, like one glitter and then the shimmer. What? <laughs> I don't understand that, but whatever. Um, the first one is the most unique from that collection. This is Oh My Majesty, and this is a white, um, a white with a gold shimmer, and this is so amazing. This is the one that you need. It is three coats. I haven't swatched it yet, but I heard from, uh, Holly, Miss Holly Berry's amazing, amazing woman. Um, I heard from her that it was going to be three coats, so I was just like, whatever, I'm going to get it. So I heard I, I was just wanting to get it, so I got it. I really like it. Um, this one is I'm down for everything, for anything. This is a one coater. This is a one coater lavender, and this is amazing. This is so fucking good. I like it. You must have it. This one is the eyes have it. This is a periwinkle 
light blue. I like it. I just, I have nothing to say. It's easy to coat cream. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of, no, I'm just gonna like go through these because these are not from any specific collection. So, um, or I know the collection is probably from some of them, but not all of them. So these are the rest of the OPS. This one is one chic chick. This is a two coat, a pale yellow cream. This is on my mom's nails. I painted them last night. I love them. This is orangey fantastic, and I love this glitter. I don't care what anybody says. Me and um, Amy Lynn um, Thompson, we have the exact same, like, I like this polish. I love oranges on my nails. That's one of my favorite colors to wear. And I love this glitter. It's an orange glitter. Like, what, how, how can you do wrong with this? I love this. It has like a textured finish, but top coat will fix it. This one is Schnapps out of it. I think this is from the Germany collection or the, uh, or the, uh, uh Holland collection. I don't remember. Um, but it, this is a burnt orange with a, a uh, silver shimmer. It's basic, but I like it. Or it's unique, but I like it. That's what I meant to say. This is Chiffon My Mind. This one I don't like that much, but I can't, it, but I like shears. I really do like shears, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't know about this one, but it has like a shimmer in it. And I really, I, I like it, but I don't know. Like, it's a three coater. Duh, it's a three coater. I cannot get this opaque in two coats. Three coats. It's okay. I'll, I'll keep it. Like, I kept, I kept it through my whole, like, purge that I did. Um, and then this one is Rolling in Cashmere, and this is a really, really nice polish. I think will look decent on my skin tone, because I am olive, but um, I kept it. But I don't know about this. I don't really have a gold, so I was just like, might as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do China Glaze. So I'm gonna rush this. This is Frostbite. I love this polish. This is just amazing. Then this is Let's Jam from uh, the new collection. Uh, it's like the uh, summer collection. And it is just a purple with a purple shimmer. And this is Strawberry Fields, which I love. It is really cute. It is a magenta with a gold shimmer. My first and only Deborah Lipman polish I cannot pronounce. It's like Axanul? Axadul. Axadul. I don't know. Fun. And you need three coats for it, but I love it. It's really, really cute. I like it. And my only two cupcake polishes. This is an indie brand. Uh, I can actually uh, link it down below. Um, this is Bloodhound. These actually look pretty similar. This is Bloodhound. It is a dark red hollow. And then this is very good looking. This is the one that I really, really, really wanted because I heard that uh, Jess Face 90, she liked it. And I was just like, I must like it. If she likes it, I like it. But they're a little hard to apply. Um, I tried, um, tried wearing them once and it was very, very hard to apply, which I don't like, but I can try it again. And now for the final uh, polishes from Essie. Um, this one is Miami Nice, which I really, really like. Uh, this is a um, like a watermelon pink with a uh, magenta shimmer. It's really, really beautiful. And then this is Adora Ball, Adora Ball, Adora Ball, <laughs> which actually is really, really. A, you can actually get away with two coats of this, but it is a sheer. Um, I would suggest three, but I kept it because it's like my favorite sheer, so I like this. And now it is. Like, it's my favorite sheer now because this is one that's really manageable. And then this is Vanity Ferris, which is another sheer. This is a pink sheer with a uh, gold, like, not gold, like, silver shimmer. I thought there was a bug. A silver shimmer with it. And I love this. This is really beautiful. This one is Cocktail Bling. This is just a gray. It's like a standard gray, and um, I like it. It's cute. I don't really wear gray that much on my nails, but I think that's a really nice one. And our final polish, this is Urban Jungle, and I really, really like this one. This is just basic, like a creamy, just a creamy gray polish. I like this. And then the final thing is actually a DIY I want to do. I want to do a swatch book. 
and kind of swatch all of my polishes in here because I'm going to be doing uh, people's nails for prom. So I want to be like, okay, these are the colors that I have, blah, 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 and I show them. So that's what I'm going to do with this. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is my whole entire haul. I'm sorry I don't have swatches for you because this is a haul. I haven't swatched some of these. I haven't even worn some of these yet because I just got them recently. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give that, give this video a like and comment if you want some of these uh, collections like the Hello Kitty collection and the Katy Perry collection to be reviewed. And also uh, the Alice Through the Looking Glass collection. I really want to do a review of those three polishes like in depth. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.